All right, everybody in? Everyone in. The ceremony is about to begin. Any Doors fans in this place? No? All right, well, we'll work on that. Folks, um, this session here is uh, designed to um, uh, have us be honest with ourselves. Our own teachers, our own coaches, our own cheerleaders. It's going to be amazing. The idea is this. You have a, a scale that has six strings in its performance, and you're going to play one string at a time, but then after you play the first string, you add the second. Then you go back to the first string, play the second, and then the third, and then first, second, third, fourth. One through five, one through six. And the idea is that we're trying to uh, not play any bad notes. If you do play any bad notes, any missed notes or missed rhythms, whatever, um, we go back to the very beginning and do the whole thing over again. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. We'll take the, I don't know, let's take a C scale in first position. We'll do it there first, and then we'll do a couple of other scale forms just so we're not getting too comfortable in one place. So it'll sound like this. Um, how, about, how about some... How about some rhythm? One, two, three, and two, the fawa. slowish sort of tempo. Uh, I forget whether I used eighth notes, like an eighth rest or a quarter rest between each string, but that's for your, that's for you to, to, uh, to decide. That is for you to decide. Just don't give yourself like two complete beats to like collect yourself. Like we want to be playing in a relatively smooth, economical way. Um, but as you start the whole scale over again, <laughs> You know, playing that sort of, in that way. Very, very cool, right? So if you do this by accident, well, you gotta start the whole thing over again. One string, two strings, three strings, etc., etc. No? We. Oui. So, guys, we're gonna do this together. Hopefully I'm not gonna make any mistakes. Uh, we'll see how I do. All right, um, one, two, three, and four, go. No rushing, slow down, Pierce. Let's do the same thing in a different position. Let's start off with um, a B flat major scale. Right, in fifth position. Now we have just two notes in the first string. We'll play six, five, eight, six. Uh, next two strings, eight, seven, five. <laughs> I made a mistake, I have to start over again. And now on the A string, play eight, six, five, and then eight, six. Fine. So we'll play. Well, I made a mistake. It's not really fair to our psyche, but it's still a good game to just, just to make sure that we're playing at a, a speed, at a tempo that's comfortable for us, um, without losing sight of the uh, the grander goal of playing uh, cleanly, um, efficiently, in time, confidently. Right? We're just trying to develop confidence here, basically. So each time we go for something on our instruments, it's the it's available. It's there for us. It's there for us. It's available to us. It's right there. 
One more scale, guys. E harmonic minor. We're getting a wide variety of scales today. <clears throat> um, take your time. Here's the scale first. Uh, 12, 11, 8. 12, 10, 8. 11, 9, 8. 10, 9, 7. Sure enough. And the same thing on the uh, A string, right? So, same deal. Random tangent much. Okay, guys, let's try the E harmonic minor scale together in the same sort of uh, slow and controlled eighth note form, repeating all the strings as we've been doing. One, two, eighth notes, go. Finish with an E minor chord, if you'd like.